Howdy cowdies, hope you're going good. We can walk about time at the collector. We've been busy, we've got heaps of cool stuff again this week, including a nice little Corgi Toy Citroen DS. Nice sterling silver trophy for a Bowman for an archery club. Um, some nice 800 or 830 mark silver forks. Fantastic little World War II cigarette case or holder, trench art, made with perspex top and bottom aluminium around. Probably from an old Japanese Zero or bomber or something up in New Guinea. It's all signed and inscribed and dated 1944. Nice little sterling silver dish. Got a men's Omega um, Seamaster Spider in the case there. Nice Tissot Sea Star automatic. A nice swatch watch, the fish. There's other watches. Cool little sort of gun or pistol shaped cigarette lighter. Some military stuff. Little comic strip books over the back. But there's some nice things in the jewellery cabinet. What else have we got? Nice big pendulum clock. Needs a little bit of work. It's only got one weight. It is a lovely thing. This is nice, a little sort of Victorian lacquerware hand painted little cake stand. And you can see though that the handle just lifts off on the top, so it just needs a little bit of glue or something. It's a nice little Art Deco cake stand. It's just missing the little coloured Bakelite trays. Nice little sort of screen. Nice lamp. And that's Pogo. He is the best. Yeah, there's no lot number on him this week though. Nice little oak desk. Alabaster and Bakelite lamps. All the sort of dressing table boxes and brushes and mirrors and things. Some movie posters, some cool vintage men's clothing. That's a fantastic sort of bowling shirt in here. Crimpoline bowling shirt. These two are ripping shirts. The Abba Dancing Queen and the Johnny Young Talent Time or something. The Johnny Young Talent School. They're both quite a small size. So the Johnny Young one's sort of like a kid size and this one's sort of like a youth size. More movie posters, two-pack. What else we got? Ephemera, picture frames, some brass and copper. Uh, a little group of sort of EPNS. Uh, some as new VHS video cassettes. What else have we got? Nice collection of brass lamps. Big lot of sort of sporting ephemera, footy and cricket gear and stuff. Um, some nice decorative fans, little Japanese woodblock prints, hand-painted ones and stuff like that. And then there's a big lot of fans down under there. All right, picture frames and prints, kids' toys, Porky Pig's Duck Hunt book with a cool sort of bunker sort of set or something and some big scale trains and a tin toy house. We've got Annie Oakley's outfit, the little hat there with the fantastic badge on the front little skirt and the vest. There's some other girl guide stuff in that box as well. Uh, nice big lot of crystal. There's some cool advertising fans, giant licorice, Colgate, Palmolive and stuff like that in there. Nice little collection with the jewellery and the manicure set, all the miniature perfume bottles, nice little hand painted plaques, some cool sort of kitchen alia and stuff. More boxes of frames. A couple of nice frame prints. You got the Pro Heart print, and I think you got a nice David Hart one there, which is signed on the back. They're really nicely presented. Uh, big round pie crust mirror with another framed mirror behind it. A lot of pictures, prints, frames, paintings. Um, some cowboy gear. You got a cool pair of bookends. Yeehaw. And you got some more cowboy outfits and stuff like that. Uh, what else? We got three nice vintage sewing machines, two Singers and a Jones. They're all in great condition. Cutlery, more metalware, more shell art. There you go, big, big chunks of coral, little seahorses made out of fish in a little display. Uh, some nice wooden carvings. Some nice old books, George Eliot's novels, and a set of Oscar Wilde books. Uh, more movie posters. These are a nice big pair of sort of retro stools, swivel, some acoustic 
classical guitars. This Riviera one's pretty cool. Someone's bunged a pickup in it. More fans. Some cutlery. What else have we got? Crystal trinket boxes and candlesticks and stuff down the bottom. Crested china souvenir wear. More brass. Egyptian perfume bottles. Trivet stands. Cool little tribal mask. All natural ochre. Some nice emu feathers. A little tortoise shell or something on the back. Uh, what else have we got? Cassette tapes. All blank as new. Nice little pair of decorative circa 1900, 1920s oil paintings, sort of like river scenes, really nicely presented. A nice little Edward Heffernan watercolour, Norman Lindsay print. This is a really nice big Japanese watercolour on silk. A little bit, I think, of water damage down the bottom here. But it's a lovely big thing. All right, what else have we got? Come on, come on. Bunch of Lionel Rose, these are cool. All the Lionel Rose sort of news agent headline posters. Decor hamper, not easy being green. Nice lot of sort of 1930s English China. A couple of cool Alice Cooper records. This one's got the billion dollar note in it. This one's got its original box. Um, this is cool, little Ken Turner cobweb antique sort of steam engine there with the little trailer, but you can see there's no wheels on it. It is pretty cool. Malvern, the Cobweb Antique store in Malvern. Um, Nina Cherry, Coloured Vinyl LP, Scalextrix Caterham Slot Car. you got a couple of pretty cool Williams Formula One races. Um, Juan Pablo Mantoya. Collection of the little Bakelite bits and some costume jewellery. There's some nice stuff in there. I think that's a big three-sheet Marlborough poster. The Matai Brothers. Oil painting there it goes with this nice little Australian pottery lamp base. You can tell that it's a lamp base. There's a little hole through the bottom there where the cord goes. And it would look really nice just with a globe inside it. It is signed Douglas on the back. Uh, what else have we got? Some cool dress ups Superman, Mouseketeer stuff, comics, B52s, Australian photography annual from 1957. A couple of nice little bits of carved ebony. Some nice little Japanese 19 sort of 30s, 50s figures. A couple of cool LP, LPs, both um, produced by David Bowie, Mott the Hoople, Iggy Pop. Little group lot there with the tray and some marbles and stuff. Little pair of teak carvings. Billy Thorpe collage there, which is signed by him. And there's some original photos of Sunbury. Some more nice Aboriginal sort of carved items. The big totems, lovely bit. Mid-century clocks, pretty cool, with the pendulum and the weights. What else have we got? Nice lot of china, all cabinet plates, nice collection of glass, Costa Boda, Villaroy and Bock. Some good crystal down the bottom. Nice lot at the top of Royal Albert, Shelley, other good quality English. Nice pair of lusterware cabinet plates, Manchester Cathedral, Manchester Town Hall. There you go, some carved wooden crocodiles. Nice little Aboriginal one over the back there. Um, cool old Spalding Grand Slam tennis racket, <laughs> Australian stamps, little collection with the Freddo advertising fan and some little bits of nursery sort of china. Captain Cook's Cottage hand painted there with a nice RAAF cheese dome. More comics, nice big TG green mixing bowl and another mid-century one. Cool little collection of Cupies, a little plate over the back's really cool with a little Cupie smoking with a top hat. Great little lot of Bakelite kitchen alia. Good lot of comics. Some interesting cricket ephemera in here. Huh? How's the cricket the other night? Poms are going nuts. <laughs> All right, what else have we got? Some nice little dilly bags. And you got a killer boomerang here with a nice little shield. Some crystal lampshades. Nice collection of spode. Two nice bits of Costa Boda. Another good collection of English, nice little lot of crystal. Cartonware and the nice little Foley figure there of the Kingfisher. Trios, Royal Albert, Tuscan and some others. Little collection of signed art glass. Nice little lot of carved African ebony figures. And there's another nice little lot of them up the top there. 
A couple of Dalton cabinet plates, fantastic big cookie jar. Some nice little mammy novelty Japanese ceramics. Nice Dalton dinner set for six. Fantastic collection of vintage fans. Yeah, pretty, it's pretty amazing. This one there with the peacock and ostrich feathers. You got some lovely sort of Victorian xylenite ones and stuff like that down the bottom. Um, really nice big spirit kettle, crystal lamp, fantastic little retro polka dot, Nilex crumb tray and brush, signed Australian art glass bowl, fantastic arts and crafts brass bellows there. Uh, Dartmoor Pixie, that's who's on it. What else have we got? Prattware lid, signed art glass, unsigned art glass. Nice bit of blue glass, a little Royal Albert Trio, Nelson, a couple of bits of Dalton. We've got some nice stuff up the top. Ben and Bella in the gardens, Peg Maltby book in great condition. You've got two nice big John Campbell Australian pottery vases. They're not signed, but they are certainly by John Campbell. Really cool Boomeroo tractor. A couple of nice bits of Baccarat glass, hand-painted Worcester. Um, cabinet plate, you got a nice hand-painted Dalton cabinet plate over the back there, which is signed C. Hart. Another nice bit of art glass, it's got a little number on the base, and around the bottom, there's a little signature and date around the side of the bottom here somewhere, I just can't see it at the moment. Oh, there it is. Trying to get it in focus, but it won't do it. It's a nice bit of glass with a slip trail all the way around it. Set of three Worcester jugs, another nice little bit of signed glass, the heart-shaped paperweight. And yeah, that'll probably do. Hopefully you saw something you liked. There's some nice things this week. See you guys tomorrow night. Be good.